interest people in the genre and surprise people with the genre if you keep surprising yourself. That's the way we try to do it. So. Cool. I actually have one more question. Uh, can we please get a Civil War Iron Man movie? Is there any chance of that? Civil War. That's a good question. It would be great to see both yeah. sides of it. Yeah. Well, well, I think we, we do see both sides of this. Yeah. Movie. I think it's all the point of this film. We're trying to make sure that when we get to the end of it, that you don't know who's right and who's wrong. I think people are going to argue when they walk out of the theater. So that's the big, that's the, you know, it, it, is a, it is called Captain America, but we weren't interested in portraying, uh, um, you know, Stark is a two dimensional character. I mean, he has the most profound emotional motivation in the movie to behave the way that he does. And I think you'll see the Cap actually is the most flawed he's ever been. Um, and so it makes for a very complicated and interesting because Tony is typically a very flawed character because he's an egoist. Um, uh, so you'll see that, you know, I think by the time you get to the end of it, uh, it's going to be hard to, to tell who was wrong and who was right. I mean, that's one of the ways we differ most from the book is in the book, you know, Stark is very much a more pointed antagonist in that story. And we wanted to make them both protagonists in the story. And we, you know, I, I, that, you know, if we're successful, that's what you'll feel. So.